Hey, how are you? So I just got back from the range. Today is December, I don't know, 10th, 9th, 8th. And I was shooting my 22 Impact. I tuned this gun to shoot JSB knockouts at 1,000 feet per second. So unfortunately, I don't have any uh, footage of the shots today uh, with COVID and the range being kind of packed, 45 minute limit. It was real sketchy trying to get anything done at all, let alone filming. So no filming, but I got some results for you. All 100 yards, 100 yards, not 50, not 25. These are 100 yard groups. I don't even care at 50 anymore. Everything groups at 25 and 50. And then from 50 to 100 is where things get real. And we all know this, whether the spiraling starts or who knows what. Slow down, Ted, slow down. <laughs> I always get so amped up when I have information to share. All right, the barrels I tested were STX, like an older one, Smooth Twist X, like a 2018. Um, Slug A from 2018. Superior from 2020 and Superior Heavy from 2020. It's the Slug A. Not real good, right? Um, these are, oh. Oh, and I should also mention that if you don't know, I don't even know if this is public uh, information. I don't really follow much anymore. <laughs> I just kind of do my own thing. Um, but you know JSB knockouts, right? Well, they have Mark two knockouts now as well and i have no idea if the mark if uh, the mark twos are available to you right now uh, hopefully they are because you'll see some uh, pretty telling results here in a second so for those who don't know um jsb knockout is a slug that came on the market last year on the same time that the uh, fx hybrids came on hang on let me go grab a thing else to hybrids so there's a lot of slugs on the market right now um you got your H&Ns, your Nielsen's, uh, Knockouts, and of course, the uh, Hybrid Slugs. Now the reason the Knockouts have me so amped up is because of a few reasons. For starters, they seem to shoot well out of standard air rifle barrels. Fantastic. That means you don't got to go out upgrading your gear. The second thing is, they're pretty inexpensive. You get 200 for I think around 18 bucks. Nielsen's more expensive, hybrids more expensive. So they're probably, H&N's and JSB's probably are the best bang for the buck out there, you know, if you're getting as much as you can for your money. Not to mention the fact that both these companies have global distribution uh, pretty much locked in. So they're available everywhere. So these are the ones I want to focus on. I don't want to be using an ammunition that we only get in the U.S. and you know, it's not always available. Other things I like about the knockouts, they're packaged well, they're all nice and clean, they don't foul up your fingers that much. It's just a smartly designed ammunition made with good lead. And the knockouts have proven to be the most accurate. The hybrids hit the hardest by far. They, they pop like nothing else uh, when you hit a birdie with them. Uh, but the knockouts hit pretty good as well. And the knockouts edge the hybrids in my experiments at accuracy. The hybrids are around an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, 10 shots at 100 yards, where the knockouts can do MOA 10 shot groups at 100 yards. Also, all the data I have today is from FX barrels. I only shoot FX barrels now um, for a couple of reasons. One, they never foul. When I shot this thing, when you guys saw me growing up <laughs> with my Edgun Matador, you saw a lot of great shots with this gun. What you didn't see is me having to continuously do something to it for maintenance. I was always scrambling to find the perfect pellet. Look at, here's the old gray tin. I still have these because they shoot well out of this gun, but only for a bit. Um, I had to get the right year, you know, when the next year they didn't shoot as well. And the gun had a tight spot right here in the barrel. I was always trying to get that cleaned out because it would foul like crazy. I mean, this, this gun fouled every 200 shots. So I was always having to do work with it. I was keeping notes about how many shots I had taken so I knew when to clean it again. Way too tedious. I do not have the time or energy for this gun anymore. Uh, if anybody wants to buy it, let me know. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> you want to get out your cleaner every two, 300 rounds, go right ahead. I'm going to shoot my guns. But let's get down to the data, shall we? The Slug A barrel, not so good. Um, looks like four or five shot, four or five inch 10 shot groups. The 
Mark II's did better than the Mark I's for sure, but that's still a two inch group, two, maybe two and a half, and uh, not good enough. Okay, next up we have a Smooth Twist X barrel from 2018. And the Mark I's, let me zoom that. The Mark I's are right here, Mark II's are right here. The Mark I's is like about a two and a half inch group, not too bad, but not too great. The Mark II is pretty dang good. They put, it's like seven of them right there, six of them right there, and then three right here, and then one right there. And this might have been a flyer down here too. So, um, not perfect, but I would say a 75, 80 yard ammunition. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's get to some of the good stuff. Um, Superior Heavy. Here's Superior Heavy. You see a lot of shots on there, and there's a reason for that. I started here, okay, and this is 10 shots uh, on this aim point right here, and it's about a two inch group. But as I was shooting, they were starting to tighten up. Okay, let's shoot a second group. I go over here, and now I'm shooting right here. And as I'm shooting there, it's tightening up even more. Okay, okay, so I go up here, right, and I put eight of them inside of an inch, but then two of them fly up off the paper. Okay, better shoot one more group just to test it. And sure enough, we got another group right over here that mimics this one. You got, you know, eight or nine shots right in there and then one, two, and three over here. So um, what you're getting is about 80% in MOA and then a couple flyers off uh, one MOA this way or that way. So the Superior Heavy shows real promise. And uh, I'm probably gonna go get back to this and revisit it because I think that there's probably something there. But let's move on to the winner for the day. And the winner, the winner was the Superior Barrel. And we have Mark 1's right here, Mark 2's right here. These lines are an inch apart. So this is an MOA group right there, a 10 shot MOA group. And then this one is just about one and a half inches, one and a half MOA, something like that. So there's my groups for these two. So what do I have? I have my air rifle that's designed to shoot pellets, the superior barrel designed to shoot pellets, but it's stacking slugs. Fantastic. I mean, that's like the, the sprinkles on top of the ice cream on top of the cake. It's really great that you could own a, a pellet shooting gun that can also send slugs. I recommend you amp that power up as much as possible. I think that they do like speed. And the tune on this gun is, there's my reg pressure right there. I think that's about 130. And fill pressure 250. And I'm slinging them at 1,000 feet per second. So from here, uh, I'm going to test the superior barrel in 500, 600, and 700. I used all 700 a day. Generally speaking, 700 are the most accurate and they also have the ability to, to shoot faster because they're longer, uh, more runway. So the next step, how well do they shoot in Superior 500, 600, as well as revisiting the Superior Heavy. So proofs in the pudding, smooth twist X Superior barrels shoot knockouts damn well. If you have one, don't hesitate and I'll be getting you more information as I'm able to get it. All right, see you guys.